Okay, we have the Municipal Budget Committee access to the NHMA. Yes, I, I'm going to make a motion, and if it gets second, I like discussion on it. Actually, there's two motions. Um, I've talked to the chairman about them a little bit, and then subsequent to talking to the chairman, I've had some discussions with um, members both in and out of the Budget Committee. And I would, the first motion I would like to make is to completely rescind the Board of Selectmen policy regarding NHMA access. I'll second. Anyone want to Any discuss? Good discussion? I think it's a terrible mistake. We've been down this road before. Yeah. And I agree that there was apparently some uh, rocky roads earlier, but you know, we're sitting here preaching about transparency for Portsmouth and transparency with transparent, but. We're not even giving our own board, never mind other elected officials in town, the same access to a resource that the town has. Well, so okay. that, that's my argument. And I think that um, the more I talk to people, and I've been on the budget committee thir for three years in a row now, mm -hmm. and they've changed, and we have a new chairman, and there's less people. And the chairman has been working directly. I've talked to the department staff that he's been working with directly him and both the vice chairman and they have not had any problems with anything as far as anyone being nasty or demanding information I think it's gone very very well this year and I think we really need to uh, turn a new leaf over because the people are watching this and they do not like it I'm telling you right now they don't like it all right and uh, I I've had well, oh, go ahead. I can speak go too. Ahead. thank you uh, I also had a meeting with the uh, the chair of the budget committee uh, we actually sat down for coffee and had a conversation about a lot of things mm -hmm. and so I've, I've got an amendment to the motion and it will say that the chairs and vice chairs of both committees both the selectmen and the budget committee may directly contact the NHMA this will include but not limited to seminars and asking legal and other questions if anybody from the respective boards wants the NHMA to get an opinion on a particular cop topic, they will need to go through the respective chair or vice chair. So that means that any of the members of the budget committee will have to go through their chair or vice chair, or any members of this committee will have to go through Who's the chair. Who's the chairman now? The chair is Tim Jones. Tim Jones. I said, anytime the budget committee chair or vice chair contacts the NHMA, for, deal, for anything dealing with a legal opinion, they will notify the chair of the Board of Selectmen of such opinion before informing anyone else. So that allows the chair and the vice chair of both committees to, uh, to go to the NHMA. But I, I want to, you know, as I understand, legal opinions of the NHMA are just that, their opinion. Yeah. Right. And the town of Hampton has their own attorney yeah. for legal matters who, who, who d takes care of our legal opinions. So, and for the second motion, I would have the well, Board of Selectmen allow the Budget Committee to contact the NHMA to schedule a, the free seminar per year that allows the town, that is allowed to the town on a topic of their interest. This seminar will be open to all members of all town boards and employees. and. Anyone attending the seminar, questions can be asked according to the rules of the seminar, as it is the same as with other attendees. I second that motion well, as is. Yes, I was going to say, On let's both tackle of that first. So which one? No, we, I'm uh, the one you just read. I read second. both of them. No, I know, the one you just read, the, the second, second one that you proposed. I will uh, agree with uh, Regina on that and putting that forward. But I have a question on the your, your first. All right, so go to the first motion. Go to the first one. Then. Well, I'll second first the first one. No. All right. Okay, so we have a motion and second, and you have a second on okay, the amendment. So, so talk about the amendment. Okay, you ta we're talking about the first amendment. Right. right. That you put forward. Okay, I have served since 1978, both on the budget committee and the board of selectmen. And I have never seen a problem with having individuals contact individual members of the select Board of Selectmen or the Budget Committee, and the Budget Committee is considerably reduced by now. Uh, there are very few instances, I don't remember any instance of an abuse uh, of the uh, 
kindness of calling up the um, NHMA individuals. I've known some of the NHA members since before they went with the NHMA. So I have never been made aware of any kind of abuse. I can't see that the NHMA is going to be overwhelmed with calls either by selectmen or members of the budget committee. Well, I think if you go back, they were, and that's one of the reasons Where? why we came up, we came up with this. Yeah, and I thought you were the one that was causing the problem. Well, I as had, I remember, it. I had uh, a little difficulty, uh, which Mark uh, well knows, when I served as the chairman of the budget committee in 2016. And Mark was kind enough at that point in time to allow me to call Attorney Buckley. And when I talked with Attorney Buckley, and uh, we had a very pleasant conversation, and I went back and reported to Mark what happened, and Mark didn't agree with Attorney Buckley. So you, you, and you so never, what you, you just said will be was exactly what make. make but I, I just said, as the chair or vice chair no. from the budget committee, can go directly to the that, that's, NHMA. That's fine. But what I'm talking about here in your motion is with the chair and the vice chair of the Board of Selectmen. We are five independent elected officials. But we speak and I as resent, one board. No, no. Yes, we do. No, I'm, what I'm, I'm saying I'm losing is, track of all these motions, so. but I'm voting against them anyway. Each, yeah, each... Uh, <laughs> Each member of this board should be allowed to. How many? How many times are you going to do it? The, it's the idea that you are. Let's vote. Inhibiting our right to pick up the phone and talk to the municipal association, whose dues have gone I up don't, now over eighteen thousand dollars. I don't believe anybody's right was inhibited. Yes. It was only the fact they had to bring go through the chair or the vice and chair. And I don't think that's this reasonable. is how it all happened Again, the first time. The motion, the, mo the motion for the amendment is, and I will read it again, the chair and vice chairs of both the selectmen and the budget committee may directly contact the NHMA. This will include, but not limited to, discussions of seminars and asking legal and other questions. In anyone from their respective boards who wants the NHMA for an opinion on a particular topic, they will need to go through their respective chair or vice chair. Mm -hmm. Anytime the budget committee or the vice chair contacts the NHMA for any dealing with a legal opinion, that they will notify the chair of the board of selectmen of such an opinion before informing anyone else. And I have a motion and a second uh, on that amendment. Mr. Chairman, if yes. I could just add to that, um, I'd appreciate it if you added me in where you're there also. Because if opinions are being given and I'm not made aware of it, um, it's, it becomes difficult to do my job when I'm asked the same question without knowing what somebody else has said. Okay. That's why I'm against it. So well, we, can, we can... You guys are thinking, MHMA is not just lawyers. I mean, no, there, there's other not. resources yeah. you can use for, which and, I think... And I, and I would think that is if, if when they, they bring it to the chair, obviously, as at least while I am chair, that will, that will be brought to you. Obviously, and that's what that yeah, was the intent of that. But, but I mean, you're ta what this is talking about is questions when the NHMA is referred to here, it's to their legal staff. Right. That's and what's being and talked about. As I about. said before, just to clarify it, is legal, that's just a legal opinion, and the town of Hampton has our own attorney. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if they, they, would, they would usually, uh, if directed to do so, they'll copy me on the question and on the answer they give. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put words in their mouth, but it's good for me to know what they're saying. <coughs> yeah. That's so, good. I, go ahead. Yeah, I, I think we're talking specifically about questions from boards right as a citizen any citizen can call New Hampshire Municipal Association no. well they no. can call it but they're not going to get an opinion no. but not an opinion but for answers on other issues right they will get some um, there's some there's things that it limited in scope what they're yeah. going to get yeah but they're going to present some stuff but I, I think it's a good compromise I think if you worked it out with the chairman of the uh, budget committee I think if he's in agreement I think it's because there was a problem before, and the problem was there was the whole big problem with 91A, created a lot of problems, created a lot of misunderstandings, and yep. I think every business has a, has a chain of command. <coughs> I, I see no problem with it. I mean, we wouldn't be doing something 
you know, without checking with the town manager on certain things or else you're going behind his back and you're not. So I, th I think as members of boards, we can go to our, our vice chairman or our chairman. Can That's I say my one thing I'm going to vote for this motion because it's better than what we got now. But I agree with Mary Louise. All us five, we all got voted here the same way. Right. We're all equal. Absolutely. She just got back in. So guess what? How many votes did you get? Those many people want her sitting here. Yeah. So she should have the same rights that we all have sitting here. And it's the same thing for the budget committee. But this is a compromise. So we have equal access. Everything goes through either the vice sure. or the chairman. Yep. And I'm good with that because it's equal access. But I just want everyone to remember that just because things happened in the past doesn't mean that's how we should still be acting now. There's never been abuse in the past contacting the NHMA. So we have a, uh, an amendment. All those in favor? I'm opposed. Three. Two opposed? I'm opposed. Two opposed. Okay. So now we're back on the, on the motion. So the motion will be. No, what's the second thing? Well, we'll do the second. That'll be a second motion because she brought it up first. Oh, was, okay. So, so the motion will be, as I just read, that the chair and the vice chairs of both selectmen and budget committees will direct, may directly contact the NHMA, but will include, but not limited to, seminars and asking legal questions, legal and other questions. If anyone from their respective board wants, in the Hampshire, wants the NHMA to get an opinion on a political, particular cop topic, they will need to go through their respective chair or vice chair. <laughs> Anytime the budget committee or chair or vice chair contacts the NHMA for anything dealing with a legal opinion, they shall notify the chair of the board of selectmen before any opinion informing any before such opinion before any uh, before informing informing <coughs> anyone else. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. So that is the motion. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Three oppo opposed. Opposed. Two opposed. Okay, the second motion is the Board of Selectmen allow the Budget Committee Chair to contact the NHMA to schedule a free seminar that we get per year that is allowed the Town of Hampton on a topic of their interests. This seminar will be open to all members of town boards, town employees. As, as to anyone attending the NHMA seminar, questions can be asked in accord of the rules of the seminar. This, as the same with any other attendees. So I made that motion. I'll second. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, <laughs> you know, it was, it, I actually had a very good conversation with Tim. And uh, I think I, I, hopefully this we now can move forward and this will work out well for them and well for us.